time now for a candid conversation with longtime pals Cody Canada and Jason Bolin from our Yellow House Revisited Acoustic Series. With a shared musical lineage and history that goes back to the Stillwater, Oklahoma scene, these two have written songs together all while being friends and mutual fans of each other's careers. That no matter how big the storm, I know I could find me a place that's warm. The sun is shining somewhere in Texas oh, I, I moved to Stillwater because of McClure. Started playing with McClure, and then I got my own night. And Jason used to come watch me play, and he gave me five bucks for OD in Denver by Hank Jr. And finally I learned it, and then it became a staple of my set after that. And then we started playing together. I made the Carney record, which I was pretty proud of at the moment. And then Pearl Snaps came out. I was like, well, now I got to I gotta bump it up a notch because it's, just, it's still one of the best records. That, not just because he's one of my best buddies, but just because it's one of the best records ever. He was writing all these tunes, just slinging them from the hip. And it was just, it worked. It was at the right moment, you know? So that entire record, I mean, Proud Souls, you know? I mean, that, I had to record that song just because it was so well written and from the heart you know that's where most of the good ones come from is an experience that is either really happy or it really sucks somewhere in the fields of heather the proud souls laugh and they love together somewhere between passion and leaves and friends i will always count him as one of my biggest influences again he used the term, which is what I try to do with mine, was shoot from the hip. And that's what he does. He, you know, wears it on his sleeve. And that's what makes songs great is when they're honest and about something and they're not trying to manipulate the listener. You want the listener to feel it, experience whatever, but you're not just sitting there thinking, how do I get their money? It's how how can I put out something that's truthful, that can allow them to experience something that I've seen and then play it through their own life? You know, I'm sure he gets a lot of people too coming up saying, what does that song mean? You know, what, what's, what's that about? And I always tell them, what's it about to you? Because it's probably every bit as deep or, you know, meaningful to you, however you're taking it as something we would write. And I think that Cody's writing has always tried to leave that bear to the listener rather than just get in their pockets and just, just try to make everybody like you rather than get it. Make of it what you will as you're climbing up that hill and always be prepared to pay. I think that's the one thing that Jason and I had from the get-go is it was never about money. It was always about the song, you know, and and it, it sounds kind of bad, but, you know, we were writing the songs for ourselves. You know, we weren't writing for anybody else and trying to make, and still to this day, we're still the same way. You know, we write it because it's on our mind and it gets it off our mind. And then luckily you throw it out there and somebody has had the same experience and they bite on it, you know. Are two things that stay the same oh, When the world starts spinning and your head hurts There's cheap bourbon whiskey and pearl snap shirts I think it brings it back to just being the sheer fun and joy of playing music. There's no real pretense. Like I said, we did it long enough that we know what we're doing, so it's, it's getting to be present now during these songs and really enjoy them as they happen and just enjoy the friendship and all the roads we've been down. It brings it, it brings back a lot of memories for me, you know. I mean, there, there's some of those tunes that playing playing the lead along to one of Jason's songs or Mike's songs or Stoney's songs, you know, and I remembered how to play that lead just like that, you know, because it was, because we played it 20 times a week, you know, back in, back in Stillwater. 
And then even when we got down here to Texas for a bit, you know, we were still all hooked up. Then everybody got so busy, we just all scattered. And you know, what's good about the last couple of years, we all come back and said, yeah, we need to do some shows together and, and get that old feeling, that old time feeling again. Yeah. 